So I just finished watching the season finale of The Acolyte. And what did I think of the show as a whole? Eh. Let's talk about that. For starters, this is one of those shows that was bound to get review bombed from the get-go. We've all seen the internet. Anything with diversity is almost always met with apprehension, and I think you know exactly why. So with that in mind, I'm just saying that this show probably has a lower score than it deserves as an overall whole, because it only gets that low when so many people decide to commit to it. That being said, I don't think this show is that great, so unfortunately, I am leaning with the review bombers this time. I was initially very excited by the idea of a show going back even further in time and showing me the Jedi when they were really in the height of power. Yeah, we got to see the prequel, but you can't help but think that in the prequel series, they were already starting to dwindle their power. So going back and seeing the original, original stuff, I thought that seemed really cool. Not to mention seeing the beginning of that Sith dynamic, finding out when they first came to power, seeing what the original Sith were like. That was all a very exciting idea to me. Unfortunately, what really holds this show back is that none of the characters are very interesting or memorable. By the way, folks, this review is going to have some spoilers. So if you didn't watch the show yet, please go watch the show and then come watch this review. Killing off Carrie Ann Moss in the first few minutes of the very first episode was a very bold choice. At first, I was very taken back. I was like, wow, they brought Trinity from the Matrix into this series only to kill her that quickly. But then I was like, okay, well, she read the script. If she's okay with this, then I'm okay with it. Because why would she sign up for something that she didn't enjoy? But unfortunately, that was just the beginning of this show's downfall. This show has a lot of flashbacks. I would say almost 30 to 40% of the show takes place in the past, but don't quote me on that. So those past flashbacks just weren't that fascinating. I really wasn't drawn into the story of the witches. It was supposed to be, you know, teeing things up for Darth Plagueis, I guess. If you don't know, Darth Plagueis is mentioned in Revenge of the Sith. You ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? He is Palpatine's teacher, and he is said to have had the power to create life using the Force you know, back when they were still using midi-chlorians. So I guess that is the purpose of the witch's story, to tie into that lore. But unfortunately, like I said, the witches just weren't that fascinating. And all those flashbacks really did was just confirm that actually the Jedi kind of are shitty people. This show has a lot of unexpected deaths, characters that you think are the main characters just suddenly getting killed off. And that would have been really cool if the characters, like I said, were fascinating. Oh man, they got stabbed to death. Oh boy, no. Just didn't really care that much. Now, I will say that there were some really cool lightsaber fights in this show. I really enjoy how modern Star Wars is using darker lit scenes to really make those lightsabers pop. Disney Plus does not skimp when it comes to the production on their shows. In fact, there were some really cool creatures in the show as well. There was a droid that really reminded me of BB-8 from the Star Wars Jedi Survivor game. If you ever played that, it's a video game, so not everyone is going to know about that character. I thought that was a cool little Easter egg seeing that little droid, but, you know, it just wasn't enough. There's a couple of interesting cameos that are say for the very last episode we get to see yoda and i thought that was kind of exciting maybe it'll be cool seeing a really young yoda but why does he already look gray actually he's already clearly old at this point possibly next season you're going to see more of yoda take it or leave it. Am I excited by the idea of a second season? Not really, but if I find out through word of mouth on social media that they're really heavily going to be focusing on Darth Plagueis and maybe some more Yoda, maybe I will take a look-see, but for me, this show didn't have enough going on to really justify its existence. I was watching every episode thinking, okay, I need to watch this because I want to see what's going to happen next. Do I really care what happens next? Not really, but I am a Star Wars fan, and so I'm going to stick with this. However, that being said, it just felt like a chore to watch. I really felt like I was being forced. Of course, nobody was forcing me. This was my choice to watch this show. But I'm just saying, I felt like they kind of had me by the balls. So for me, this show is a 4 out of 10. If you are an extreme Star Wars diehard, you may enjoy it a little bit more. But if you are a casual Star Wars person and you are just looking for something that's going to entertain you and you want to see some cool flashbacks with the Sith and the Jedi, this show is kind of overshadowed by having two uninteresting characters. What did you guys think of this show? Put your thoughts on it in the comments. Did you like this video? If you did, please hit the like button. And if you want to hear more of my opinions, then subscribe to this channel. Seriously though, subscribe. Later.